2019 saw massive growth for the live streaming market, not only in terms of the number of hours watched across all of the different live streaming platforms, but also in terms of the number of creators that are able to reach partnership and hence make a full-time income out of it. This growth is predicted to continue through 2020, and especially now with these platforms competing to make sure that the big streamers are streaming on their platform, the opportunity to make a full-time career from streaming is greater now in 2020 than it ever has been before. So how exactly can you take advantage of that and make 2020 the best year for growing your stream? We're gonna be talking about that today in this video after a quick message from our sponsor. Nerd or Die's new stream pack Nova is a pixel art overlay and alert pack with a sci-fi theme. Give your stream a retro look without compromising a modern approach to your stream design. This overlay is also part of their supercharged collection, meaning that you can install it with OBS Studio, Streamlabs OBS, or Stream Elements in just a few clicks. Check it out and grab yourself 10% off using the link in the description. Realistically, if you want to make streaming your full-time income, you need to start treating it as a business, not just as a hobby. In the past, when sites like Twitch were smaller, fewer people were able to make a full-time income out of it, and hence people were just streaming for fun and growing organically. That's why you get a lot of the OG streamers, people that are incredibly popular now, but started a long time ago, saying that they just started streaming for fun or because they were playing games anyway. The kind of growth that they have seen is because they were some of the first adopters of the live streaming platform, so they have grown hand in hand as Twitch has. But now in 2020, it's a completely different landscape. If you actually look at the data, the number of viewers per channel on average has gone down over the last few years as Twitch and streaming in general has become so popular. Now the purpose of me telling you this isn't to demotivate you, it's actually to motivate you because so many of these streamers that are streaming are making the exact same mistake, just streaming as much as they can and hoping that one day they'll get a big raid or a big host from some massive streamer and then instantly overnight they will become incredibly popular and that's just not how it works unfortunately. If you want streaming to become your full-time income, you need to start treating it like a business and putting in the work, putting in the hustle required to get noticed in such a noisy environment. The first thing that I would recommend doing is writing down a list of goals for the year 2020. It's been something that I've been doing personally and for the Gaming Careers channel for the last few years and I've been really surprised at how much of a difference it has made. I'd recommend writing a list of anywhere between three and sort of 10 things that you want to achieve this year and avoid writing any goals that contain specific numbers for things like followers, viewers or subscribers. These things, they're all kind of out of your control and actually require someone else to take an action for you to meet your goal. Instead, you wanna focus on goals that will help you improve the content you are making and therefore increase the likelihood of someone choosing to take an action like following or subscribing to your stream. Some good example goals are to maybe learn some basic graphic design so you can create your own emotes for your channel, or to post X number of times to Instagram or Twitter per week, sharing some aspect of your life with your audience. Or maybe you could write down a goal of attending a Twitch meetup in your nearest city to meet and network with other creators. Now, once you've written down these goals, there's a few different ways that you could track your progress with them. If they're more long-term goals, then I find just putting them somewhere that you see them quite often, like on your fridge or maybe by your streaming PC, can help motivate you as to why you're doing the things that you're doing. But if they are more granular things, things that you need to be doing multiple times a week, then you can use many different types of apps to be able to track your progress and making sure that you're keeping up with your goals. The second thing that I would encourage you to spend some time working on is your schedule. And I'm not just talking about your streaming schedule. I see far too many streamers just spending all of their time streaming. As soon as they get home from work or school, they start their stream until they kind of go to bed and they're doing this multiple times a week. Not only is this unhealthy, but it's also not a productive use of your time if you're looking for growth. Twitch, as I'm sure you know, has a massive discoverability issue. You need to be using more discoverable platforms like YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, even TikTok to grow your audience, and then you can bring them across to watch you on Twitch. The reason these other platforms are more discoverable is that they rely heavily on recommending content to their users. And there are countless examples of creators with very small followings having their content recommended because it is good enough. So what this means is you need to schedule your time more wisely. Not only when are you going to stream, but when are you going to edit, post the socials, 
uh, hang out with your community, um, record a podcast, all these other tasks that are required now for growth need to be scheduled as well. As a general blanket statement, I would recommend spending anywhere between 25% and 50% of the time that you're currently streaming and spending that on growing on different platforms instead. It might sound counterintuitive, but as long as you are streaming as well as creating content for other platforms, it's gonna be a much better return for your time. The third thing that I would recommend you do is spending a few minutes defining your content. What type of streamer do you want to be? Do you want to be someone who is incredibly skilled at a particular game or genre of games who talks their way through the actions and strategies so viewers can learn a lot from you as you play? Or do you want to be more of a personality that people want to hang out with and hear about what's going on in your life? Feel free to really hone in here as to what you want your content to look like. Do you want to come across as the type of streamer uh, that is very family friendly and generally positive, or maybe somebody a bit more divisive with some hard hitting opinions? There really is no right and wrong answer. It's just completely up to you as to what you want the content to look like. The reason this is such a useful exercise is because it makes you look at your content for what it really is. For me personally, in gaming careers, I've got some really exciting goals for the year of 2020, some of which you'll be hearing about as soon as the next couple of weeks. So if you do want to hear about updates and some behind the scenes of them, make sure to follow across on Twitter and on Instagram. Also, if you haven't yet joined the Gaming Careers Discord, that is a great place to post your goals, ideas and questions uh, with a whole bunch of different like-minded creators and links to all of those social medias are in the description of this video. Hopefully you have found this video useful and you are in the process of writing down some goals for the year of 2020. I would love to hear from you what your goals are, so leave them down in the description below or if you do join Discord, post them in there. And hey, if you aren't yet subscribed to the Gaming Careers YouTube channel, we'll have plenty of content helping you with your live streams coming this year, so hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thanks as always to my patrons who have helped support the channel this month and uh, I wish you all a happy new year and looking forward to hearing more about your streaming journeys in 2020. Peace.